Hey everybody, it's DJ at Fitness in Motion. I've been a professional personal trainer for over two decades, and I'm here to help you get fit, feel great, and improve the quality of your life. Before we start, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you see all of our future videos. Today, we're talking about probably the biggest buzzword in diet, at least in bodybuilding, protein. Oh my goodness, protein, protein. Where do I get my protein? I hear this comment. It's it's absurd. It's ridiculous ridiculous how much I hear about it. And everybody's super concerned about where do we get our protein? How much protein do I need? In fact, a good friend of mine from, from school, back from junior high school on up, recently sent a, a, a note on Facebook that some coach that she hired, uh, she was looking for the holy grail, the six-pack abs, and she'd hired a coach, and the coach said that she needs more protein. That's how she's going to build a six-pack. So in essence, what that coach was saying is eat more calories. And maybe those calories came from proteins. And I don't know how much protein she was taking, but I assure you, eating more protein is not going to create a six-pack abs. All right? Another thing I hear when it comes to protein, 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 somebody who is doing plant-based diet or a vegetarian or a vegan, the first question that they're usually come up against, somebody says, oh, you're, you're, you're eating plant-based? Where, where do you get your proteins? Everybody's so concerned about where we get our proteins. Who do you know that has a disease caused by a deficiency in protein? Because me, I don't know anybody who's ever had a problem. And, and the reason is not enough protein. That's crazy. Then you say, yeah, but I'm trying to build muscle, so I need more protein. Okay, how much more do you need? It's a question people don't know. And then there's these equations. Well, you know, guys should be eating a, a gram per pound. Okay, so let's say that person is 230 pounds. So you're saying they need to have 230 grams of protein. That, that fits your equation. But what if that person is carrying an excessive amount of body fat that makes up the 230 pounds and their goal is to drop 75 pounds? Should they still be getting 230 grams of protein? And do you know how many calories are there with those 230 grams? It's a very simple number. There are four calories per gram of protein. So if they're going to increase their protein intake from, let's say, the normal person's having 95 grams up to 230, all right, we're adding quite a bit of calories to your daily diet. So there, there's this huge emphasis on protein. And let me just say for the record, yes, I believe protein, proteins are the building blocks of your muscles. That's where the amino acids build more muscle. That's how the, the muscles get stronger and build back more powerful is, is through amino acids, which are found in protein. It's the building block in your muscle. I agree, you do need protein, but this this excessive desire to have as much protein as possible is absurd, okay? And then I see these protein powders that are 40 grams, 50 grams, 60 grams of protein. How much can you absorb at one time? And you know what? It's a rhetorical question, but I'll tell you real fast, your stomach's going to tell you. Trust me, if you've had too much protein, you're going to know about it. You're going to find out pretty quick. And the people around you are going to know about it too. Enough on that. Point is, eat proteins that are found in real foods. Okay? It does not have to be animal-based. It does not have to be chicken breast. It doesn't have to be steak. If that's what you choose, fantastic. Great. I eat meat myself. I do. I'm not plant-based, but I try to get a balanced diet. I don't eat nothing but meat. So make sure that we're getting sufficient proteins through real foods, because that's how our body's going to process it the easiest. That's going to be the most natural. It's also going to be in a number portion that our body can absorb and really keep and use for the muscles and not just try to pass through. So get over the idea of how much protein and where do you get your protein and, oh, you're a vegetarian, you're not getting enough protein. What's enough? It's crazy. Let it go. Look at your calories, okay? Body weight is gained and lost through caloric intake versus caloric expenditure. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. So stop with the proteins and just start looking at eating healthy, eating healthier foods that are balanced and well-rounded. And I'm not trying to tell you what diet to follow. I'm just saying, don't worry about how much protein you're taking or intake every day, because it's not as important as people who are selling protein powders want you to believe. Okay, they're probably trying to just ramp up their sales and saying you need protein to build muscle. Yes, you do. You don't need that much protein. Okay, I hope this helps. Subscribe to the channel and best of luck.